viewers welcome back to my channel welcome back my name is doris to the new subscribers and to the ones that are coming back welcome welcome back i appreciate you all i please make sure you subscribe to this channel we want to get to a thousand a thousand subscribers so make sure you subscribe and share with your friend so last week i promised you that i'm going to share with you on how to look for jobs on linkedin but i got comments and people asking me like what's the cost of this in dubai what's the cost of uh, making your hair what's the cost of uh, like if you want to move here with your family and i just realized and never shared with you the cost of living in dubai so if you're looking to relocate to dubai i want to dig deeper on the cost of living in dubai this is uh, from a personal from a personal perspective but i've done my research and also the cost that I'm, I'm, i've been using you can compare it with any city like if you live in in new york you live in uk you live in nairobi you live in cape town anywhere just comp this this uh, is an average view of uh, how much it it costs to live in dubai and you can make a decision for yourself is dubai expensive is dubai expensive you'll make a decision for yourself so let's get started and i'll also share on the description below the videos that i've done in the past so that you can go back and check and i'm sure you're going to get one or two two points from it so let's get started so the the main cost of living in dubai of course is uh housing if it, it doesn't matter where you are in this world you need to you need housing and the housing in dubai thanks to covid it has come down at least covid has done one good thing due to covid the prices have gone down by like 20 or 30 percent so on this video like i've told you i'll share with you average cost of an average person i'm not going to tell you the cost of uh, maybe expensive uh, expensive cost i'm just going to give you the cost for just an average person so whether it's rent or whatever aspect i'm going to share it's for an average person if you want to spend more money you're free to do so the housing in dubai it depends like for a single person we'll start with a single person a single person you can rent out a studio a studio is uh, a, a room that has everything in it it has a kitchen it has a bathroom it has a toilet it's like a bed sitter back at home but it's maybe like twice bigger than a bed sitter it has all the amenities that you need and for a single person i think that's okay with you so it depends if you want to live in the high-end places like dubai marina or if you want to live in the middle class places like uh, silicon oasis or the very low end places like Deira. so it just depends on where you where you choose to live but the average cost will be 3500 dirhams and i'm going to share somewhere here in usd so that you can convert it to your to your currency and you can have a, an idea how much it's going to cost you so 3500 dirham for a single person if you're coming here for a, a, maybe a family a family of four people maybe you need a one bedroom or two bedroom apartment and it will cost you anywhere from 4000 dirham and above 4000 dirham and above depending on where you're going to live and for you to be able to get an apartment in dubai you need uh, you need a bank account and you need a checkbook because uh, apartments in dubai they're paid yearly so you can pay in four checks or you can pay in three checks but now due to covid we're getting people that are even allowing people to pay in like um 12 checks so every month you have a check that is that you're putting in so for you to rent out an apartment you need to be a resident because you need a checkbook and you need to have an account here and i'm sure you're asking what happens if you're coming to dubai and you don't have an account you don't have a checkbook what should i what should you do don't worry i have you covered i have got you covered so if you don't have a checkbook and you don't have an account you're not able to rent out a studio or one bedroom or two bedroom what you can do is you can get a, a room you can get a room within an apartment let's say the apartment is two bedroom then you can get a room and then what usually happens people usually share amenities uh, like you can share the, the kitchen and the common area and then uh, you have your own room your room maybe it has even even a a, a, a toilet in it or you can also get a um, a bed space a bed space is where by where you guys are sharing like two people in in a room or three people in a room and it will cost you anywhere from 700 dirhams and above 700 dirhams and above and if you're looking for an apartment or even a room or a bed sitter 
or I'm going to share on the description below some websites that that are basic that are commonly used here. So these are housing portals that are usually used here. So the landlords are going to advertise there, and the um, the people that are looking for apartments are going to check there. So in Dubai, most of the things are done online. So at least ninety percent of house search is done online. You just get uh, landlords advertising and tenants looking for apartments online. So we have one website it's called dubizzle.com dubizzle.com i'll share the link below and then there is property finder and there is buyout as well and you can also look for facebook groups so the facebook groups usually mostly are for apartment uh, they are for bed spaces or maybe if you're looking for a room usually mostly they don't advertise um, uh, apartments they miss mostly do the smaller the smaller shared accommodations so everything i'm going to put on the description below so make sure you you check for the for the portals on where to look for apartments so that's the first cost and then also once you pay this this rent there's also other cost that comes with it there's utilities so you need to pay your dewa so dewa is electricity water so it will cost you anywhere the water electricity and ac it will cost you anywhere from 600 dirham and above so this is an extra cost on top of the on top of the cost for the apartment and and also there is uh, the cable like you need internet in the house and you also need tv we all want to watch cnn and other stuff uh, and netflix and all that so it will cost you maybe anywhere from 380 380 dirhams and above for the internet and for the tv connection so that's the most basic we have two service providers we have a tisalat and do so the the very minimum one will cost you about 380 dirhams then the second cost will be transportation so transportation it's up to you to choose whether you want public transport or you want to buy a car a public transport you just need a, an all card you need a card and the card per month will cost you like 350 dirhams so for you to like the public transport the whole the whole month for you to use the metros and for you to use the buses it will cost you like 350 dirhams which is very fair and for a taxi it will cost you like two dirhams per kilometer and then um, even the buses it will cost you 350 dirhams for the whole uh, for the whole month which i think is very fair if you're looking to buy a car um, you can either buy a new one so what most people do usually because the banks can easily give you loans usually people buy uh, cars like brand new cars it will cost you maybe anywhere from 40,000 dirham and above or what you can do like what i like doing because i don't like taking things on credit i'd rather buy uh, an older model like four years or five years older model that on second hand which will cost me like ten thousand dirhams and above so you can buy a second hand car get your driving driver's license and uh, fuel is very cheap in dubai it's like 2.3 2.4 dirhams per per 2.4 dirhams i'm going to put the the cost here for the fuel it, it's very fuel is very cheap compared to other cities across the the world so that's the cost for transportation then the other cost of course for anyone living anywhere in the world is uh, food you want to think like how much is it going to cost you to, to buy food it depends if you want to buy from the high-end places supermarkets like waitrose and spinnies or you just want to buy normal food like in uh, cup four and uh, and almaya and you know just the normal supermarkets or ruru hypermarket so food it will cost you for an average person anywhere between 700 dirhams you're good 700 dirhams and i usually encourage people to cook at home so what i usually do is i usually cook and then if i'm going to work i'll just carry my food most of the people that's what they usually do and then over the weekend then i can go out and eat out but if you want to be buying food out we have so many uh, portals or so many providers that do that online we have uber eats we have talabat 
we have Karim. So these are places where you can buy order food online and the minimum is like 40 dirhams and above. So it, it, this will add your cost of living. If you're going to be buying food every day, then it becomes very expensive. What I usually recommend is just buy food over the weekend or once in a while. We don't want to be very stingy. We would still want to enjoy ourselves. But uh, most of the time it's good to cook because when you cook, it's yummy, it's healthy, and you know what you've added there and it's cost effective. So the other cost of living in Dubai is entertainment. I'm sure we are all young and we all, we all want to have fun because Dubai, let's say majority of the people are young. So what do you do over the weekends? Guys, there's so much to do on, on, in Dubai. Like if you want to be broke, come to Dubai because everything looks, it seems like you, it's just calling your name. Please buy me, please buy me because everything is just luxurious and everything is beautiful in dubai so for entertainment there's so many things that you can do for instance you can go watch a movie it will cost you like 40 dirham for one person and then the, the extra cost is the popcorns and the the hot dogs and you know and those caramel popcorns oh my god they're so yummy they're so yummy so yes and if you've not watched peter rabbit 2 it's on the movies we can go watch this weekend <laughs> I'm just kidding. So going to the movies is, is a good way to unwind. You can go to desert safari, go to attra uh, attraction places, tourist attraction places like uh, Dubai Frame, go to Dubai Mall, go to the malls. So there's so many things that you can do in Dubai. You can do the sports. I'm just going to list here a few of the things that people usually do in Dubai for weekends. So it just depends on how much money you want to spend for entertainment. Like personally, what I usually do, I'll go out, maybe I'll, I'll go dine out over the weekend. So dining, fine dining in Dubai, it will cost you like 150 dirham per person. If you're going sharing with people, then you know how much it's going to cost you. And then also you can go to the beach. So I'm shooting the video at Jumeirah Beach. I cannot, you guys cannot see, but the, the beach is about two minutes away from here. So that you can go to the beach, just swim, carry your snacks, you can cook those pancakes and buy fruits, you know, just find creative ways of uh, saving money and then just go with that book and swim at the beach. So that's, that's another way I usually save money. But entertainment, there's so many things you can do. You can never be bored in Dubai, not in Dubai, not in Dubai. So the other cost that there is, is uh, for ladies, for all the ladies in the house, the salons and the pedicure and the manicure. Uh, so I usually feel like I should have added this, this point on, on the cons of living in Dubai because uh, hair is expensive. But guys, if I didn't mention, there's a, there's a voucher called Entertainer Voucher and Groupons. So Entertainer Voucher is a book, booklet that you buy that you'll be getting discount on things like uh, let's say salon or even going out or going dining so this is a good uh, thing for you to invest because you'll just be checking where there's 50 percent discount and then you can go and use it and it and helps you to save money even on weekends so uh for salon if you want to make braided hairs like what i've done it will cost you like 200 dirhams 200 dirhams yes 200 dirhams in my country i'll go to the salon three times or four times so anyway we love dubai so 200 dirhams to make your hair and above and then if you want to make your pedicure and manicure it will cost you anywhere from uh, 200 dirhams and above and then for the people that are coming with the, their house help if you want a house help in dubai it usually costs you anywhere from 1200 dirham and above per month and you need to make for them the visa you need to process for them the visa and then the the final cost is uh, like it, it, the, the other cost like uh, for buying clothes it, it it depends on a personal basis usually we mostly shop in H&M Zara um, those are the sh common shops that people buy here or splash and a small top will cost you like 40 dirham and above but they're usually very fair it depends if you want to go to the very high end or the low end places but this is just the very basic these are just the very basic cost of living if you want to pay more or you want to do other things or you want to uh, spend more then you're free to do so guys let me know if you've enjoyed this video make sure you comment below like subscribe share with your friends 
and then uh, I'll see you next week on Saturday. I'll see you next week on Saturday. And thank you so much. Let's let's connect on Instagram. I'm going to put the, uh, the my my Instagram handle somewhere around here. Thank you so much. Bye.